Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at Critical Blow, a unique arcade focused fighting game that was released for the PlayStation in late 1997, early 1998 and was published by a company by the name of Ban Presto. This game was only seen and released in Japan and it was also a sequel to another fighting game that was released previously to it by the name of Shadow Struggle which was also released in Japan. This game plays like a lot of other type of arcade fighters from that time period but there's a lot of unique elements that differentiate it's this game from a lot of the others that are available like the gameplay is fast paced and it's frantic it has a really good selection of characters to use but one major factor that does make it different is the fact is that with the different modes that are available you have a normal tournament mode where each character in the game has their own individual story that tells the whole course of all of the elements that happen from the beginning all the way to the end and you also do have a versus mode but you have a unique trading system in the game that allows you to upgrade your character's abilities and to make them stronger or quicker and to make them an all-round better fighter which in turn you can save all of those stats once you upgrade your characters to your memory character then you can later use them in the versus mode if you're playing against some of your friends so that in itself is a very unique touch and it was quite a different feature that you would not have seen in many games it almost acts kind of like an RPG leveling up system but for fighting games now the only thing is with those updated stats you can't use them in the main tournament mode which is primarily the meat and bones of the game. So with each of the characters that are available they all have their own unique look, aesthetics and fighting abilities. Some are easier to get used to than others while some definitely will take a bit of work due to not being able to move as fast as some other characters. But there is a character there for everyone's tastes. As the same with most fighting games there's always that one character or two characters that you'll always warm to a lot easier because they're just easier to pick up and play or they just have a certain aesthetic about them that you really like. This is no different. The one thing I am going to make you aware of is though is having spent time of playing this game is that it is difficult. Like it's easy enough to pull off combos and when you do connect with them it works really well. Like the gameplay is very fluent and it does control very well. But the computer AI even on the easiest modes is very very temperamental at best because they counter every single move that you're nearly going to do. Just when you think you're getting a combo going or you're trying to pull off some special move all they do is literally do a kick or a punch or they do a special move of their own in the middle of it and they literally just counteract every single thing that you do. You will find yourself getting very frustrated. It uses like a lot of other fighting games even if you compare it to the likes of the old Mortal Kombat games. It uses a lot of very cheap and slight tactics to give the AI opponents the upper hand or an advantage. So you do have to kind of rely on luck and for the most part in my case when I was playing it I found that I would just have to bash the buttons a lot of time or I'd have to fight with an aggressive style to try and even have any sort of a chance to win fights to even have a chance to win any of the fights within the tournament mode and some of the fights I had to try multiple times to win overall and it definitely got a lot more frustrating when I got to the end of the tournament mode as with the playthrough you had to fight one final boss character which is the most case in most of these fighting games and that I will be honest drove me absolutely crazy because the boss can do way more damage to you than you can do to it and Oh, it took me about 10 attempts just to even get one good run. I had to work out a strategy and realise that I couldn't use what I've been using before and to be more aggressive. I had to pick and choose my moments of when to attack and when to avoid. So you really do have to get used to the overall feel of the character that you're using. You really do have to understand the fighting styles of both characters and just to know the environment as well so that you can get yourself out of trouble if needs be. Because in most cases, especially with the final boss, because he's a lot bigger, he genuinely he has a lot more of a longer reach so he can grab you pretty much at any time from a very long distance and literally just pummel you until he literally destroys you and he can take nearly half your health power out of you with nearly one move yeah you can only imagine the frustration that you had like all in all it is a decent fighter i really like the graphics the environments like it is really good it has a very very good visual style the gameplay feels really good the mechanics are very good it has some awesome fighting moves and mechanics but for me personally the cheap ai is what really puts a downer on it but then back then a lot of those fighting games would have all used similar cheap tactics in order to make it challenging because i suppose if it was easy it would be no fun but i suppose that's the unique challenge 
on with a lot of these type of games and in terms of the graphics like for an early enough PlayStation game that was released in 97 early 98 graphically it is very very good graphics are very very bright and colorful and they really do set the whole tone and vibe and some of the moves that can be executed in the game can be quite over the top and even quite violent for the most part as in a lot of cases depending on whether a character is using any sort of weapons like knives or swords you can see blood being spilt so you can definitely see the devastation of the damage of those moves being done so you really do have your work cut out for you with being able to try and understand the character's movements and fighting style so that you can gain advantage of the fights in question and couple that with the versus and the trading system so that you you can upgrade your characters now again like I mentioned you can't use those upgraded characters in the tournament mode which is quite a shame because it would make things a lot easier but it doesn't take away from really the overall experience you get out of these games what you're willing to put in but just let you be warned that it will test your patience now if you're into fighting games I would definitely recommend you give this a look you will enjoy it especially if you're looking for an adequate challenge or definitely a tough challenge you will definitely find that here so it is one to look out for and as there are a lot of similar style of fighting games are released on the PS1 especially in Japan I'm coming across more and more games now that I didn't even think was even available let alone even possible so there's way more to look at and to explore so I will be sharing more videos on each of these type of games in the future so be sure to keep an eye out for them and I would love to know your thoughts on Critical Blow for the PlayStation if you have managed to play it yourself and if so what experiences did you have with it did you enjoy it or did you equally find it as frustrating as I did I'd love to hear your story stories about this game so as always be sure to share them down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of these type of reviews and gameplay videos where I do share my thoughts and experiences with everyone from the PlayStation 1 then leave a like on the video subscribe to the channel and hit that bell to be updated when future videos are released and do feel free to check out other videos on the channel because I do provide other reviews and gameplay style videos of similar type of games that were also released on the system back in the day so be sure to check them out and until next time make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them and keep those gaming memories alive.